Hello and welcome to another WernerWare video. I'd like to show you a game I made recently using Angular 6. I think it demonstrates a lot of the things that that framework is good for. The game is called WernerWare Tiles. It's like other games you might have seen online or on your mobile phone. The idea is really simple. It's that you start out with some pattern of black squares here and you want to expand them out as quickly as possible into the colored squares. And you do this by clicking the color you want to absorb next. So if I wanted to say green, then I click green, and it absorbs all the green tiles adjacent to black tiles. And then maybe I want all the blues next. And then maybe all the oranges. And maybe all the reds. This game is fun, as you can see, because it has a certain unpredictable nature, but at the same time, it's entirely easy to understand what's happening. Just like it says here on the Angular CLI page, I'm going to use the command line to create a new project and then serve it. I've already installed the CLI, so the first instruction is unnecessary for me, but you will need both the Node Package Manager and the Angular CLI installed in that order. Once it's done, you'll be able to go to localhost 4200 and you'll get a page that looks like this. From this point on, I'll be using IntelliJ with the project. This IDE has great support for Angular and TypeScript and will allow us to keep the CLI in the same window as we work. I'm going to go ahead and import the project we just created and let the IDE figure out what type of project it is. IntelliJ should recognize Angular as soon as the new project is loaded. It doesn't seem like it recognized Angular per se, but it should have support nonetheless. And so we get our first look at the source files for this application. This is straight out of the CLI, so all these things are here for us just out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and interrupt the serve that we did to look at the project up front so that we can move it into the IntelliJ execution. Now we will go to the view menu and the tool windows selection and we will choose terminal. This terminal is basically your machine's command line embedded within the IntelliJ interface here. So we can say ng serve, just like we did in the original, and then we can wait for it to begin serving the app. While we do that, we should set up a new terminal, and we should also say ng test. It is important to keep the tests running while you code and I'll explain that in another video. So now that the application has finished loading, we can go back to the navigator and we can view it again. If we look over here, the tests are still running, but 
Soon we see three out of three success. So now let's check to make sure that our edits in IntelliJ are reaching the version of the app you see in the browser. Here we have the HTML that composes most of what you see on the default page. So let's say instead of welcome to title, we want it to be this app is going to be great. And we give it a save and we tab over to Chrome. We see that automatically the page has been updated to the new text that we chose. That's the basic setup for the app in IntelliJ. In future videos, I will show you the steps I took to code up the visual elements of the game. Please look for that to appear soon if it isn't already on the end screen here. In the meantime, I've posted the source for the whole app in the Wernerware GitHub page and linked it in the description below. 